GF Press on this street, the Old Bailey, uh, the uh, US vs Julian Assange case has um, resumed now, uh, the uh, defence are presenting their uh, further witnesses as to the, um, uh, the uh, uh, extradition request uh, uh, counter arguments as it were, um, and there's quite a few support come here today, there is quite a lot of media, obviously not as much as there was on Monday. Um, but uh, so far, the progress is going uh, uh, at some pace um, in terms of the uh, uh, schedule of the three to four week trial. And uh, hopefully a bit later, we'll get some interviews and some updates from the uh, uh, people who've been inside the court and uh, from the uh, journalists who are live streaming on Twitter, etc as they update uh, the actual uh, process within the court and uh, it's going to be a long three weeks, four weeks um, but we are hoping that the uh, evidence and the burden of proof of uh, the US case uh, will be outweighed by that of the defence um, and uh, unfortunately a decision that's left to Judge Barista, no doubt, almost pre-written uh, her judgment in favour of the US, we believe. Um, and we'll leave it to the Court of Appeal and the higher Supreme Court uh, to decide the issue uh, uh, sometime next year on appeal. Um, and the question obviously then arises, uh, the status of a remand uh, uh, a prisoner who is appealing a decision on extradition um, uh, should be released obviously on bail um, for uh, at least the duration uh, until such an appeal is heard and uh, indeed uh, we know and the sad truth is that the higher courts are much more likely to find in favour of Julian and the European Court of Human Rights is undoubtedly would find in his favour. I can't see any legality or, or due process or rule of law that would persuade me otherwise than the uh, uh, European Court. But as I've warned before, and as Julian indeed himself has warned us, that it's the legal process uh, of confinement, isolation and torture that they will wish to continue until such a time that a higher legal authority overrules them. And in the case of the US first Julian Assange, I think we can almost guarantee that is a process that could take many years, if not another decade, of lawfare against a journalist and publisher. So I see a press outside the old Bailey in EC4. The, uh, <laughs> it's the um, financial principality of the Corporation of London. And to my uh, left here, we have the Central Criminal Court, sponsored, funded by the City of London Corporation. 